So for this problem, we're going to find all the zeros for p of x equals x to the fourth minus 6x cubed plus 60x minus 100. And we have a little hint here because it's already telling us that 3 plus i is one of the zeros. So we're going to take that and uh, divide it synthetically into x to the fourth minus 6 6x six cubed plus 60x minus 100 and you get you line those all up and you start to divide so 1 to 1 and then 1 times 3 plus i is 3 plus i and subtracted from or added to negative 6 will get you negative 3 plus i which multiplied back to 3 plus i is negative 10 0 minus 10 is negative 10 and negative 10 to times 3 plus i gets you negative 30 minus 10i and when you subtract that from 60 you get 30 minus 10i and when you multiply 30 minus 10i to 3 plus i you get 100 and you're left with a remainder of 0. From there you're going to want to write divisor times quotient so you take x minus 3 plus i times x cubed plus negative 3 plus i times x minus times x cubed plus negative 3 plus i times x minus 10x plus 30 minus 10i. Then since 3 plus i is one of the zeros you know that the con by the conjugate rule that 3 minus i is one of those zeros so the next step you want to take is divide it by 3 divide the new the quotient by 3 minus i so when you line it all up 1 negative 3 plus i minus 10 and 30 minus 10 i and you start to divide synthetically so 1 to 1 and 1 times 3 minus i is 3 minus i and when added to negative 3 plus i they cancel out giving you a 0 0 times 3 minus i gives you 0 and when negative 10 plus 0 is negative 10 and when you multiply negative 10 to 3 minus i you get negative 30 plus 10 i which cancels out and gives you a remainder of 0 again write divisor times quotient so you take the first divisor you had originally x minus 3 plus i times x minus 3 minus i times x squared minus 10 From there, you're going to want to, the next step is that you want to uh, simplify x squared minus 10. So to do that, you get x plus the square root of 10 and x minus the square root of 10 multiplied to both divisors. And after you set y or the x equal to 0, x plus what a, the root and equal it to 0 and you get your zeros which would be 3 plus i, 3 minus i and plus uh, positive square root of 10 and negative square root of 10 and those are your zeros.